TT Yeager with Seabus Lifting Co. I'm 21 years old and I have been with Seabus for about two years now as the first powerlifting member. So what got you into powerlifting? So the way that I started powerlifting was in my freshman year of college, so two years ago now, I was really missing volleyball because I was a really good volleyball player in high school and I had a scholarship to come to OSU and I ended up getting hurt and tearing my MCL and I was really missing that competition aspect and I already was lifting weights so I figured what better way to get back into competition than by competing at lifting weights. So what's your favorite part of coaching? My favorite part about coaching is getting to see an athlete take a piece of advice that I gave them or adjustments to form that I made for them and see that improve how well they perform on the platform. So if I work with somebody who has a problem getting bent over in the squat and I cue them to keep their knees forward for longer and that activates their quads and they're able to stay more upright and squat more weight as a result of that, that's a huge success in my book and when I get to see them actually lift more weight, I feel really confident and happy about that. Which lift is your favorite? It kind of like alternates between benching and squatting. I always enjoy squatting. Benching gets boring occasionally, but I'm good at it. So I'd say benching, probably. What advice would you give to someone who's thinking about competing in powerlifting for the first time? I would have two big pieces of advice for people that are trying to get into powerlifting at first. The first one would be to not hesitate to compete, although I would say don't cut weight for your first meet, but there's no minimum total you need to hit to be in a meet. The best way to learn is by doing, and the best way to do is to compete. That's as specific as you can be to the sport. And my second piece of advice would be to really take the time to work on your form when you're starting out and worry about that more than you worry about weights. A lot of people get stuck in the problem where they become really strong but they have really bad form and it makes it a lot more difficult when you have to revamp your entire form as opposed to just being able to progress continually when you have good form.